hello welcome back to my channel this is another video so i'm coming to you bare face because we're going to be doing makeup today we are going to do a full makeup look with in my own opinion the makeup that i have that is in the most pretty packaging because let's be honest we buy makeup because of the packaging sometimes because sometimes the packaging is looking muy bien so <laughs> today i'm going to be doing my makeup with that makeup I'm going to be doing makeup, my makeup, with that makeup that's really pretty in the packaging and seeing if the packaging and the makeup inside correlates to make a really nice product. Okay, we're doing eyeshadow. I'm going to just prime. I only have one eye primer and the packaging is utilitarian. It's the eyeshadow palette I own with the prettiest packaging, in my opinion, is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette. I just... It's just so pretty. And I have to wait for this to set more. So I'm going to have a little biscuit break. I think I'll do a pretty simple look today. Um, I don't want to be hassled with doing a lot. So I think we'll do something pretty, pretty simple. <laughs> Go in first with this. Oh. Let me go like this. This creamy shade just to set kind of above the crease on each eye. It's a different blender brush that's a little less dense. I'm going to go in with this kind of medium brown shade and just take that on the outer part of my eye. Now, I have to be honest, uh, there's a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in this, because Charlotte Tilbury packaging is quite pretty. Like, some of the products are so beautiful. Just like a flat shader brush, and I think I'll go in with ooh, this shade here. This kind of champagne-y glitter. Just a nice, simple eye. Oh, that is way more pigmented than I thought. <laughs> it's fine. Wow. That is so pretty. And I'm going to just take this angled brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to go into the Confident Eyes 3 and I'm just going to take that dark brown and just take it on the outside of my lash line and drag it in Ooh. okay cute that's quick throw together eye look very simple primer i think this is cute this is very cute packaging compared to my other primers this is the essence hello good stuff glow serum primer this is the dupe for the glow recipe i'm just going to take two pumps that looks like a good amount and wow that's parfum that is fragrance and this is Wow, that is making the skin glowy. Oh wow. I think I'll stick another little half a pump on my forehead because my forehead I want to be so glowy with the foundation I'm using. <laughs> oh my god. It's what is that smell? It doesn't smell like watermelon it smells like something else and it's given a tack to the skin for the lovely foundation that we're going to go in with which is the airbrush flawless foundation by charlotte tilbury because look at that packaging the rose gold very 2016 with the frosted glass it was very bougie and uh that's all the foundation i'm going to be using <laughs> because a little of this goes a long way so i'm just going to start in the center of the face which oh my god 
that primer is so tacky. <laughs> I think that primer with the foundation is a good, it's like a good combination. And just, we are going on to the next part. So for my concealer, I'm going to be doing pink under eye with my Glossier concealer. I think the Glossier packaging is so pretty. And these P. Louise things, they're pretty as well. This is in the shade Cutie Cake. So I'm just going to do maybe two each side. And I'm going to take a wee brush. I'm going to take this brush with my concealer. And this is in the shade G11. So this is like pretty perfect shade for my face. It's so crazy. So we're going to go on to our powder products. So I am going to set my face and my under eye. So I'm going to go in with my under eye first. And I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I've put into this lovely, beautiful, vintage compact. This is a vintage Stratton compact. And it has a, a little compact mirror. I have this little puff in it to, like, protect the powder and the mirror. And I'm going to use this really cute oh, heart-shaped puff to set my under eye with the... Rimmel powder. Like, look at that. A lot of vintage compacts that you can get are so beautiful. Like, the packaging is so nice. Like, I wish they didn't change, like, the standard powder size. So you can't, like, use your favourite powder, like, depot it from the plastic packaging and just slot it in two vintage compacts like the only powders that you can really do this with now is like the Rimmel ones which is great because Rimmel's recently cruelty free again oh you can't see it the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer that she's called so many things airbrush <laughs> but this is just beautiful packaging oh my god what did I get in my eye this is just beautiful packaging like And I like that these are refill. <laughs> these are refill. And I'm just using this massive, basically a powder brush to stamp my bronzer onto my face. <laughs> I, even though you saw in for my foundation, I am too neutral. I use the medium bronzer because I like a more warm tone bronzer on my face. And the fair one is giving cool it's giving cool toned so i don't want cool toned bronzer <laughs> maybe i need it maybe i'm doing my makeup on but this is how i like to do my makeup my way blush i think this is such a cute action look at this this is another vintage compact i i repressed a blush into here and i think this is just so freaking cute it's very parisian and it holds my favorite color blush in it like an orangey blush and i'm just and the very thing with all these vintage compacts they come with mirrors they all come with mirrors oh, love that just love it oh I may have went over kill with the blush there, but I think we're grand. For highlights, another Charlotte Tilbury thing. She, I think she has like about three teams that just work on packaging. Like this, like Mother of Pearl, and I'm just gonna be taking one of these as a highlight. So I'm gonna take the champagne one and just. Bring that onto the cheek. Now for lips. I'm going with this. This is the She Glam 
lip gloss in Walk on the Beach on a, a pen. Well, it's like holographic. And this is just such a nice nude gloss. And they're supposed to be very similar to the tart ones that I think they're trying to do. But, um, the packaging's cute, but I don't know if I put too much of this lip gloss on, but it just settles into all the lip lines. It doesn't, like, go over. It just settles right into the lines. Like, see? Can you see? Can you see? It just settles on the lines. So it is cute. And for a quick kind of troll on, they're fine. It's fine. Another cute packaging would be on either Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks or even the W7 Lip Tour. But yeah, that is it. I'm going to put my glasses back on so I can see you again. Okay, I can see again, my glasses are also very cute, so they need to be in the look. <laughs> uh, that is all I have for today. If you have looked at your collection and been like, I buy my makeup for the packaging, don't we all? <laughs> if you like this video, please like. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe. And if you want to keep up to date with my project plans, I do have a playlist on my channel. And yeah, so I'll... See you next time. Bye.